Hey everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we are going to be acknowledging Void Interactive's problem. This is an issue that's really put a stain on the game in the past. It's hurt it recently, and it could very well be an issue in the future. I'm really making this video so that the developers can acknowledge this and stop it out before it really becomes a bigger issue because this problem just honestly makes the developers look bad. And it just kind of pushes people away, which is not something that new developers for a new game want to do. Of course, what I'm referring to is transparency and staying true to your word. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am an individual that covers Ready or Not extensively. I have been with the this game for a little over a year and a half now so i know very well of what this issue entails but back then it didn't actually bother me because i had the mindset of oh the developers don't owe us anything because we haven't given them any money they have an investor that was my initial position but forking out 120 dollars and seeing the same issue after i forked out that money can really change a man's tune so let's talk about one of their recent examples, Dead Block 4. Honestly, I didn't even know that this was supposed to come out because I really didn't look too much into it. You know, I was doing other things, but I went ahead and made a video anyway because I just saw a bunch of people talking about it. But in the comment section of that video, there was one subscriber that was sending me a link to Easy Street actually saying that it was supposed to be coming out this month. I told them, listen, I like Easy Street, but he has been wrong in the past. So I don't know if I could really take his word for it. But then he reassured me and he sent me a link of Ryro and Z saying this we're working on dead block 4 which will be a video dead blog we're aiming to get that out this month honestly that's all the confirmation that i needed because i trust ryro and grunter more than i do easy sorry man you just been wrong in the past i i gotta go you know i gotta go with the higher ropes i'm sorry but then the end of june comes around and no dead blog to be seen these posts that i showed you were made towards the beginning of june i had made my video towards the end so i honestly wasn't sure if you know the developer blog wasn't going to come out or not and when it didn't the day after the month that they said that they were going to drop the dev blog in they released a post saying due to scheduling with mocap and development the dev blog is postponed any future dev blogs will be announced only on our social media platforms twitter facebook instagram the game development remains on track but we feel our dev blog should remain up to the quality standard oh my god Feels like deja vu from June, July last year when we thought that the gameplay trailer was supposed to be slated in this same month. And then towards the end, Easy Street was like, oh, we're postponing it towards August. But then we later found out that the developers never actually told them anything. Towards the end of August, the developers were like, no more than three. No more than three basically meant it could come out anytime in September or October, possibly November. September comes around, nothing. October comes around, nothing. On November 1st, we received something but it was extremely tiny and sent us on a wild goose chase that ultimately didn't lead anywhere because it was just the beginning of the story. The gameplay trailer wouldn't see the light of day until March of 2019, almost a full year after where it was slated to release in June, July of 2018. So yeah, miscalculations all around, but I was being fair towards the developers because, hey, game development can take a long time. I'm sure when they started out, they didn't think that they would be doing it for over four to five years, you know? Game development comes first. I'm always in favor of developers being able to take as much time as they want to finish their game. But the interesting thing about Void is that they actually acknowledged what they did wrong. Towards the end of 2018, they said something like, if there was anything that they could fix or take back, it would be putting out the dates that were listed on their websites because they essentially made a deadline for themselves when they really didn't need to. And then they proceeded to say, when we're ready, you'll hear about it on our media sites. Basically saying that when we're ready and have something to show, we'll let you know. Void, why didn't you follow your own advice? You can't just set the rug and then pull it out from underneath people. You're just pissing everybody off for no goddamn reason. Listen, Void, I love you guys. I want to see your game succeed, but you got to be careful, my dudes. This only makes me worried for the future. This raises questions like, is the alpha actually going to be in August? I don't want to have those questions. I want to talk about the game and not how you guys have had a record of faulty information. I really hate that I had to make this video, but I feel like it needed to be addressed. I don't like drama. I probably would have passed this video out to Big Fry or Sid Alpha, but this one really hit too close to home that I just had to make it. But I don't know. Am I overreacting? <sighs> Go ahead and tell me down in the comments. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.